today I have for you five ninja home buyer tips. Hey, what's up, Tampa Bay? I'm Andrew Duncan of the Duncan Duo team at Remax, the official real estate agents of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Make sure to follow us on all of our socials. We are at the Duncan Duo, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. Today, I have for you five ninja home buyer tips. The very first one, make sure to always get a pre-fall before you go out and look at houses. Too many buyers go out without a pre-fall and find out they get approved for less or more, or that they have to do things with their credit and their taxes in order to be able to qualify. The second thing is offer a random number on the house. Instead of offering 300,000, offer 300,284, 300,288. Whatever it is, make it random instead of just on a whole number. It serves a couple purposes. Number one, it will allow you to leapfrog somebody that offers on a whole number. Number two, it makes your offer stand out and make sellers think that you actually put some effort into your offer and that there's some thought process behind it. Uh, and if they're a specific type of personality, it could really appeal to them. Also, uh, ninja tip number three, don't just pay attention to new listings. Look at homes that have been on the market a little while, maybe homes that have been price reduced, maybe homes that have bad photos. Oftentimes you can find a diamond in the rough or a listing that gets overlooked simply because the agent didn't do a very good job of pricing or marketing it. Number four, Ninja Tip, measure your commute time during the time in which you would actually commute. Many home buyers come back to us wanting us to sell their home because we find out that their commute time is an hour and a half and when they drove there Saturday morning at nine o'clock, it was 30 minutes. So always measure your commute time so that it's actual. Ninja tip number five, be patient with the process. Oftentimes there are obstacles that hit during the real estate transaction, problems with insurance, problems with inspections, problems with the lender, underwriting, your employment verification, all these things can cause delays. Use the dates listed in the contract as like a goal, as, a, as an objective, but don't think of them as set in stone because there's a lot of parts of the process that can mess those up. So appreciate you tuning in to Homebuyer Ninja Tips. Falls at me, Duncan Duo.